Hi, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this video is regarding combined geoscientist exam notification by UPSC. It's a exam which is conducted by Union Public Service Commission every year and this is a position for gazetted officer or you can say it's a position for a grade A job by UPSC. It's one of the top job which you can get if you are a chemistry student, if you have done masters through chemistry, okay. So after masters through chemistry, apart from being IAS or apart from going in civil services, through chemistry itself, this is something which you can get at the highest position in India. So this, if you are not aware about it, uh, you can read about this particular uh, UPSC geoscientist job and uh, about what are the functions and what are the benefits of it. But this video is regarding the notification which they have announced for the next uh, combined geoscientist pre-exam 2023. So this is the page, this is the official page, official website. I'll give you a link to come to this page directly in the description of this video. So if you see here, so the date of commencement of exam is 19th of February 2023. So this is the scheduled date. So exam will be conducted on 19th of February next year, that is in 2023. It's a one day exam because it's a pre-exam. And last date for receipt of application is 11th of October till 6 p.m. Okay, so 11th of October 2022 is the last date for acceptance of the application. And date of upload means this notification has been arrived on 21st of September. So if you want, like all the details are there in the complete uh, notification. So I have downloaded it and I have highlighted the things which you need to know. So let me take you directly over there and let's understand, let's try to look upon that what are the things which we need to know before applying for this combined geoscientist pre-examination. All right, so this is how the official uh, notification, the detailed notification looks like. I have highlighted few things which are important for you. So first of all, uh, this is uh, examination notice 02-2023 geologist, that means combined geologist exam, geoscientist exam. Last date to apply for it is uh, 11th of October, as I informed you already. Now, there are few different things like eligibility and all, but they are given in detail later on. So let's uh, see the highlighted things first of all. So last date, as I already told you, is 11th of October till uh, 6 p.m., right? Now, coming down a little bit. Uh, so yeah, preliminary exam, that is pre-exam. So first of all, let me tell you that this exam is conducted in three steps. One is pre-exam, which is a one-day exam for which you fill the form. Once you qualify the pre-exam, you have to give mains exam which is a descriptive type of examination. Uh, Pre-exam is objective, mains is descriptive. And after that, you have to go through an interview, okay? So once you qualify all these three steps, then you are going to be like, after that medical and all things will happen and then the final uh, like uh, joining will be there. So this form which you are filling is for pre-exam. Once you qualify this, then you are allowed to give mains exam. And once you qualify both of them, then you have to go for interview, right? So pre-exam is going to be conducted in all these centers, like the name are given over here, you can read about them. And the centers will be allotted on the basis of first apply, first allot, okay? That means you have to apply early so that you get your desired center, for exam. Now mains exam will be conducted on uh, 24th or 25th of June, okay? Uh, pre-exam will be conducted on 19th of February, okay? Uh, 19th of February is the date for pre-examination. And mains exam will be conducted on 24th or 25th of June. And mains exam will be conducted in the, these centers which are given over here, right? Now, let's talk about how many uh, vacancies or how many seats we have. So, first of all, for chemistry, I'll be only talking about chemistry group. So, there are two category job. Category 1, uh, which is basically group A job. And that is for chemist group A. There are 19 vacancies for that. And the second thing is for scientist B, okay? So, for scientist B, chemical uh, group A, you again get one vacancy. So, total, if you say, how many vacancies are there? So total 20 vacancies are there, right? So this is the total number of vacancies. Now, both these group uh, category 1 and category 2 exams are conducted by two different agencies like category 1 job uh, or category 1 vacancies under post of uh, Geological Survey of India, Ministry of Mines, whereas category 2 is under the Central Ground Water Board, Ministry of Jal Shakti, Department of Water Resource, uh, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation, right? Now, let's come back a little bit. So, this was about how many posts we have. And then uh, we have, uh, yeah. So, BC candidate applying for a combined geoscientist examination 2023 must produce OBC non-creamulier certificate based on their income for financial year 2021-2022. So, 
2020-2021 and 2019-2020 right so you should produ produce your obc non creamy layer so this is for obc candidates okay so read about all the things there are many things given in detail but i'm just focusing on uh, major things so that i can make this video short and crisp you should know all the things which are needed okay let's talk about eligibility criteria so first thing is nationality you should be uh, indian then you can also be uh, nepal uh, can like a candidate from nepal or bhutan then there, let's talk about age limit which is more important so the age limit for geologist or geophysicist or chemist group a is basically that the combined should have attained 21 years that is minimum minimum age should be 21 years and maximum uh, like it should be 32 years so your age should be uh, in between of it okay so you should be uh, uh, like older than 21 years and you should be less uh, or you should be younger than 20, 32 years right on the day of the month of january in the year in which examination is to be held that means uh, they have basically summarized it and they have said that the candidate uh, yeah so it says that your date of birth should lie between 2nd january 1991 and not later than 1st january 2002 so if your date of birth lies in between of these dates then you are eligible to apply for it right as i said there are two different agencies which conduct these exams so both of them are mentioned over here coming down a little bit if you go so all these note and other things are there lot of information is there i'm just focusing on important things okay fine minimum educational qualification let's talk about that so for chemist group a in the geological survey of india and scientist b that is chemical under uh, cgwb uh, these are the qualification which you need you need msc in chemistry or applied chemistry or analytical chemistry from a university incorporated by act of parliament or state legis legislature for or the other educational institute established by the act of parliament under or declared to be deemed university under section 3 of university grant commission that is ugc 1956 so basically if you have done msc in chemistry or applied chemistry or analytic or in analytical chemistry in that case we can apply for this for the chemist post coming down a little bit let's talk about physical standards so physically fit you should be and all the other things are given in appendix number two you can read about them let's talk about fees that how much you have to pay for this form so candidates uh, accepting female SCST person with benchmark disability who are exempted from the payment fees uh, are required to pay for rupees 200. So basically uh, female candidates does not have to pay any rupees, uh, any, any amount, then SCST candidates does not have to pay any amount and then uh, students or the people with benchmark disability they also don't have to pay anything right. Apart from them others like general category and OBC category male they have to pay 200 rupees as the application fees for applying for the online application form here it is highlighted and written that all female candidates and candidate belonging to scheduled caste scheduled tribes are not required to pay any fees no fees exempted is however available to obc ews candidate and they are required to pay the prescribed full fee which is nothing but 200 rupees okay coming down a little bit that how you can apply so if you guys want i'll make a detailed video on this okay so detailed video on how basically uh, how step by step you have to apply so if you guys will ask in the comment section i'll make that that how you can apply or how you can fill the form step by step guide for that so that i will do later on but yeah you have to log in and you have to basically fill the form whatever the informations are asked the details which are asked over here are like the documents which are needed are certificate of age that will be your 10th certificate certificate of educational qualification that means for your msc certificate then in support to claim uh, if you if you belong to a category then category certificate is asked and then if you uh, are asking for uh, age relaxation or fee concession in that case also you have to apply uh, with a certificate and then if you belong with a uh, if a, if you are a person with a benchmark disability then also that certificate is required okay let's talk about that what is the scheme of the exam so basically pre exam for the pre exam you have two papers paper 1 and paper 2 paper 1 is general studies it will be given for 2 hours and it will be 100 marks paper paper 2 will be a chemistry exam which will be of 2 hours and it will be having 300 marks okay so all in all 400 marks for this uh, like pre exam okay similarly for the mains exam you will have three papers paper 1 paper 2 paper 3 paper 1 for like all the papers for 3 hours each 200 marks each so total 600 marks so overall this exam is of 1000 marks in all okay okay so let's talk about the syllabus now 
so the syllabus is similar to what you have studied in uh, masters so for chemistry all the topics are highlighted over here like chemical periodicity chemical bonding and structure acid base uh, theoretical basis of quantitative inorganic analysis kinetic theory of gases then chemical thermodynamics uh, solution and electrolyte electrochemistry basic organic chemistry zero chemistry type of organic reaction molecular rearrangement so this is written in a concise manner but basically it covers all the syllabus or all the topics from your masters level okay but the questions are asked at like in the pre exam the questions are very basic okay uh, i'll link some videos in the i button you can watch them in the previous like i have solved some previous year question of geo scientist exam you can see the level of questions over there all right so yeah these are certain things i guess which you need to know uh, later on like all the other detailed uh, syllabus is there for other subjects as well but these are not that much needed like you have to read them later on but for now when you are applying for it uh, these information which i have given you are sufficient to know so some basic thing that is exam uh, like you can apply for that particular post at uh, last date is 11th of october application fees is 200 rupees and your eligibility criteria i have already discussed so these things were the main uh, highlight of this particular video that's all from my side thank you so much for watching if you have any question regarding this you can ask me in the comment section below and um, that's all so see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care